Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from NBAA 2014 in Orlando. One of the trends in business aviation is to refurb older airframes to new standards and Nextan has had great success with that with the Beechcraft 400A. They turned that into the 400XT. Now they're trying it on the King Air C90 of which there are thousands of examples flying. And here's Jay Hubline to tell us about it. So the idea, when we, when we started this program, we, we incorporated or utilized what we called a 3S approach and there were three things that kind of designed the engineering, uh, uh, the design spec, spec for the airplane. Obviously we wanted to focus on enhanced single pilot operations. We believe this is one of the best single pilot platforms available in the business aviation space. And then what we really wanted to do was focus on bringing a new level of safety and simplicity to the, to the flight deck uh, that hadn't previously been available. So when you look at all the, uh, all the, all the opportunities that are out there, Probably the single biggest change that we're making, the single level power control technology. This will be the first twin engine turboprop to use fully digital, uh, full computer control, single level power technology. You notice on our, on our column that the uh, propeller governors are now gone, so, so the big difference there. And then if you look at the predecessor airplane, we talked to operators and, and we, talked, we wanted to get a good feel for what they didn't like about it. Obviously the, air, the predecessor plane has done very well. But within that community, there were, a lot of, there were a lot of shortcomings on the airplane that we wanted to address. So we've gone to full digital, uh, fully automated uh, digital pressurization control. There's no input required from the pilots. It's tied to the FMS. Uh, so it brings, uh, it's one less thing that the pilots need to worry about. We have complete exceedance protection. You can't over temp, over torque this engine uh, with the digital engine control capability. Obviously, we've gone to a big 15 inch MFD display in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the panel. Uh, so we're able to bring all the benefits of today's avionics technology in a very easy to digest uh, uh, platform. So right now there's about 7,000 uh, King Airs in the marketplace that, uh, that were available for what we're looking at or what we're able to do. Uh, so we think that the market is just enormous and it starts at one end with high-end owner operators that want to fly the airplane all the way up to commercial operations uh, uh, and, and we expect to see pretty equal market penetration in all three groups. So this aircraft is going to feature the GE H75-100 engine. Uh, we, chose that, uh, we chose that engine for a number of reasons. Uh, we're very excited about this relationship with GE. Uh, you know, GE, GE has made a big investment into turboprop technology and if you look at this engine against the competitive engines that are in the space right now, some of the big advantages, we expect about a 7 to 10 percent improvement in SFC, specific fuel consumption. Probably the single biggest difference that we expect is much, much lower maintenance costs. Out of the box, we're offering a 4,000 hour TBO on the engine. There is no hot section required on this engine. It uses a fuel slinger delivery system, so there's no nozzles, there's no maintenance uh, associated with nozzles. You have even thermal distribution of the fuel as it enters into the combustion chamber. So we really expect this engine, for all intents and purposes, to be maintenance free. Keep your fluid levels where they need to be, and it, it should be a very painless uh, uh, owner, ownership experience. 